Hey everybody, Rich here. My god, I've been doing a lot of Linux stuff lately, but it's all good. Anyway, as you can tell, this is OpenSUSE 11.4. Big distro, DVD sized, over 4 gigs. Takes a while to download, let me tell you. Anyway, uh, let's just say I hope you're not under a bandwidth cap if you want to download this distro. It is big. Not Debian big, because I think that's something like 8 DVDs, but this is pretty large. Anyway, I, there was some software, uh, Q-Tractor, I wanted to test because it's specifically for OpenSUSE 11.4, but unfortunately it was too buggy to really do any real testing with it because the software is just too young. It's barely out of alpha stage. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if it's fully out of alpha stage yet, so I couldn't test it, but I didn't want this to go to a total waste since I downloaded this whole thing, so I figure I'd show you the most ultra minimalist Linux you can have without using the terminal directly. Now obviously this isn't it because this is KDE and it's nice and it fades and it's got animations and stuff like that. But the neat thing about OpenSUSE that it comes with by default, if I do a leave here and do a logout, now this is VMware so you're going to see the window resize like that. Okay. Now you have the session type of uh, th three different desktop environments. You've got the regular KDE with the Plasma workspace. You've got ICE WM and TWM. Now I'll show you uh, ICE WM first. That's it. <laughs> really basic. Well anyway, let me change the setting here so it actually takes up the full screen. All right, go to display and monitor. Change that to 1280 apply. For some reason it does not hold the setting. I don't know if that's because I haven't rebooted with it. Uh, you may have to reboot for it to hold the setting. I, I try to save as default. It's supposed to do it, but it doesn't hold for whatever reason. I don't know. But anyway, um, this is an ultra minimalistic interface, but the deal is it's got the same app. So if I want to run GIMP, well, there it is. There's GIMP. If I want to run Firefox, it's not the latest version, it's version 4, but it's still in here. It's the same apps, just a different desktop manager. There's Firefox. And if I go to PC Mac, there it is. And I do have Flash installed in this. So, works works out. Hey everybody, Rich here with a no. There it is. So that is uh, ISWM. You can change the wallpaper in this, but it's not in an obvious place. I don't remember off the top of my head where it is. It's somewhere in a manual configuration file. If someone wants to leave a comment as to where that is, it's supposed to be in the home folder, Well, I couldn't find it. So, because... Um, you're supposed to have something like home oops, home your username and there's supposed to be a file called .icewm or something like that that's the last thing I remember from it but I haven't used this in so long it's just oof. but you do have themes in this albeit very basic if I went to say like one called warp 4 it just changes the colors a little bit not really much else so I just use default Anyway, so let me get out of here, log out. Now if you thought that was minimalist, TWM. Wow, is this bear. Ready? Here we go. That's it. <laughs> well, where's the stuff? You have to click and hold. <laughs> Just to get your stuff. Uh, this is the most bear GUI I know of. I don't think there's, and not even Fluxbox is this bare, because at least in Fluxbox you get some type of bar down here. Not in TWM. Uh, if I want to run something, I have to run an X term and then drop something on the desktop, and uh, I'll run system settings, I think it is. Yeah. And here I can change. Everything has to be run from within a terminal window and then launch the actual uh, application window after that. 
So I will go and change my display and monitor again to do 1280 by 720 and apply, accept, and I can't remember how to close it. Is it this? No, that's a minimize. That's how you, well, it's not really a minimize, but that's how you iconify something on the desktop is to do it like that. Oh man, I don't even know how to get out of here. <laughs> oh, there it is, quit. Whew, okay. So now if I run or want to run Firefox, I type Firefox, hit enter, and drop it on the desktop. There's no maximize button. You have to grab this and then do this curmudgeon thing. So I have to drag this over here. And there we go. Run over to PC Mac. And again, since Flash is already in it, it does run like it's supposed to. Hey, everybody, Rich here. Okay, so then I'll iconify this and left click. Now, I'm not doing any right clicking, by the way. Right click does nothing. <laughs> so left click this and do another X term, drop that on the desk, because this is running. So I can't go back into this and run something else. I have to drop another X term on the desktop and I'll run something like um, KWrite, which is just the text editor. So I've got KWrite and I'll iconify that one, move it over here. Um, oh, what else could I run? I don't know, but I'll, another system settings window. So I'll, I'll do the, uh, actually, you do have the icon manager. This is true. So you can switch back and forth between them, but it jumps right over the window. It's just gross. <laughs> so I will hide the icon manager and just do it this way. What is this? Oh, I don't even know. So I'll drop another term on it and do uh, system settings again. Okay, so I have this. There's no minimize. There's nothing. This is just so basic. It's not even funny. Um, but it's neat that it's there. So if you wanted to s something ultra minimalist, ultra minimalist and obviously very retro yeah this is definitely the way to do it so anyway, let me quit this and close actually file quit that I gotta uniconify or deiconify that file quit that okay exit this terminal exit this terminal exit this terminal left click exit <laughs> and then go back to session type default back into the beautiful KDE interface afterwards and it fades into view that's funny this is all the same OS this is all open SUSE and a lovely startup sound to go with it. So if you feel in the need, at least with OpenSUSE, to drop to some really bare minimalist interfaces, well, you got them with IceWM and TWM in this distro. It's just different, and uh, I don't really have much else to show in OpenSUSE, because like I said, the app I wanted to show is just too buggy. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take it easy.